Welcome to Talk That Talk, where we talk that talk and we walk that walk, you feel me? My name is J1K, 1K shit, no fake shit, it's never no lame shit around me. And I'm sitting here with my man Penny Austin, as usual. Yeah, y'all already know what's going down, you know, not trusting these hoes, getting to this dope. Y'all already know, talking that talk and walking that walk, so follow me on Instagram and everything. Yeah, dig. And we also got the best moderator in the game over, all the way on the end, my man JD. What's up, what's up? You, you already know. If you don't know, I'm going to tell you now. We're always keeping it chill, always keeping it real. Yes, sir. Going into another great episode, episode 35, right? Yep. Yeah, 35. Yeah, KD and OKC. Yep. Uh, we'll be, what we got today, lined up today is NBA. If you don't know by now, this is the second episode of the week, our NBA topics only. We'll mm-hmm. be going over the Nuggets and if they some real contenders. Uh, should the Warriors be worried this mm. this season? Uh, should the Lakers go ahead and trade LeBron? Trade and LeBron. we'll be going over the first NBA Walk That Walk Awards. Yeah. Let's All get right. It. So getting into that first topic, are the Nuggets the real are the Nuggets real contenders in the West this season? Penny, I'll let you go first, bro. I'm just say I was gonna let you go first since you had Jokic number one last week. I right, did I go first then? Yeah, jump off the porch, Jokic. Fan. I I I mean I ain't, I wouldn't just say I'm just a Jokic fan, but I fought with bro, and I think yeah they some real contenders this year. I feel like in the past the the problem with the Nuggets was they didn't have enough surrounding pieces like pieces surrounding Jokic. But I mean this year they got Jamal Murray back. He's averaging right now 19 four and five. You got Aaron Gordon. He's put he's giving you 16 and seven tonight. You got you know MPG. KCP, you know, uh, What's Jeff, up, Zoe? Jeff Green, you know what I'm saying? You know, a little savvy veteran. He'll, he'll, he'll give you some, some good minutes when, he, when you really need him. You know, I think, uh, you know, Bones dropping 12 a night. KCP has been shooting 47% from the three point line so far. You know, I, I, I really, oh. feel, I really feel like this year that, you know, it might be a little different story than, then uh, then what we used to see in the past with the Nuggets, you know, them going first round, second round, and now type shit, they could they could really make a push. You know what I'm saying? Getting maybe to the Western Conference Finals, maybe to the finals. You know what I'm saying? It's I only see about it's really only one other team that I can really see yeah, that's really yeah, just yeah. going to give them a run for their money, and that's just that's the Warriors because you know in the past the Warriors didn't have their number, but. Besides that, I really don't see nobody else just really stopping them like that. I mean, Jokic is just, like I said on the first basketball podcast, Jokic has just been a complete weapon. You know what I'm saying? Um, game last night, what was that? like? Yeah, last night, he got into some early foul trouble, which isn't really typical of Jokic. But, you know, when it comes down to the playoffs, they, it's a lot of them calls that they're just going to let ride because, you know, playoff basketball is way different than regular season basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it is, it is. So, I my in my opinion, I'm I'm saying yeah, I think the Nuggets are gonna be a real deal, real deal problem, because it's not like we had we're not used to seeing them being number one in the West. They've done that, you know, a, a couple of times over the past couple of years, where they've just been like, okay, Nuggets is number one, and then something happened in the playoffs. But I think this year might be might be a different year for them. Might be a different. Year. I wanted to say the Nuggets was gonna be. In the finals, when we did that, when finals we talked, to, yeah, when we did our finals projections, but I was like, just knowing that the Warriors, they really got that. They've had their number over the past couple of years. I just can't put my money on it. But if it was to be anybody else, I'm saying the Nuggets, man. I mean, yeah, I when you got arguably the best big man in the league, then mm-hmm. you have a shot, you know. That number one in the West right now, like you said. Mm-hmm. Number one in the number one right now in field goal percentage, number one in three point percentage. They should number fucking two in total offense, you feel me? So they really should be number one, but you know, they, you know, he can't, That's you know, division. You know, division you know, yeah, yeah, team they, right they, now. They, 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 yeah, they, they doing all nine that. Right mm-hmm. But uh, 24 9 in the conference. I believe, I believe, yes, other than, like you said, other than Golden State, like we predicted, so all, all of us predicted to be in the finals, really. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that they will be the team that could challenge them because, um, like I said, I just don't think they would have an answer for Jokic. And if Jokic is able to have, because last year in the playoffs when they played him in the first round, he didn't have, like you said, Jamal Murray or uh, Michael Porter Jr. Exactly. So just just having, you know, capable basketball players <laughs> that's supposed to be starting on the NBA court, 
around Jokic, he's going to make everything just that much, that much, that much easier. That's why they're number one field goal percentage, three-point percentage right now because he's just opening the court up and, you know, finding the right person at all times. Exactly, making the right plays. And even though last night against the Trailblazers, like you said, he got in the foul trouble and shit, mm-hmm. Nick still had a 30-point triple-double. So at the end of the day, you, exactly. know, you feel me? Like he didn't play the whole full time, but the time that he was on the damn court, he still made a huge impact. Twelve for twenty, you know, he ain't missing no shots really. So it was a close game, but you, he just kept putting Dame in, in, in pick and roll situations, and Dame wasn't able to, you know, switch over and hold him. I mean, he wasn't really doing the, the same thing to Dame. Dame was doing the same thing to him on the offensive side. But we don't look at Jokic play defense. That nigga tries ass really off. Don't. That's all that I can ask for. He tries ass off, but like I said the other day, can't can't get no fast. <laughs> he can't, man. It's just that you can do about it. It's just that you can do about it. So when you got that, when, and KCP is an unsung hero. You know, he was one of probably one I of swear. the most important people in the Lakers championship other mm-hmm. than LeBron and AB, AD when they won in the bubble. So to have somebody there that got that championship experience, you know, who knows how to play a role in the championship environment, that's going to help them out 10 times more when they play a team like Golden State who's used to the battle, who in the playoffs is just like, you know they don't they don't rattle they don't get rattled so mm-hmm. to have somebody that has that experience it will be able to help them out a lot so yeah they are a real contender a very very real 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 contender especially with the way the warriors are struggling right now yep 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 i'm glad we can agree. i'm glad we can agree on that yeah that's probably one of the few things we'll agree on when it comes to basketball yeah they are looking good this season i don't know though can't wait to see what the end of the season gonna look like i don't want to never get my host Oh, up to you got a long way to go. I'm about yep. to say, yeah, we ain't even hit the All Star break yet. Yeah, yep, long way to go. Well, but. shit, at least they ain't got to play games like baseball. Shit. Uh. Let's not speak that into the L. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not speak All that right, into the L. All right, next subject. Should the Warriors be worried? Speaking of the Warriors, not doing. I know what I'm doing. Should the Warriors be worried about not Smart being man. a high seed this season? They are not a uh, high seed in the yeah, playoffs this yeah. season. Right now they are, what, what's, what's that over there? I think they're eighth. They are. Eighth and ninth? You're looking at it right there at the Western Conference. Oh, it was right mm-hmm. there. Damn, I looked straight over them. Mm-hmm. they eighth, right? They're right there. You just passed. Yeah. Eighth seed. Yep. AC? Yep. Yeah. So right now they, that's what I thought. No, they are the six seed. That's the oh, Clippers. That's a, that's AC, and they are. Oh, so they are actually four two. and four in the division. They okay. Thirteen nine. Okay. So yeah. The six seed. I'm about to say because at the end of the day, oh, what's the will they, kind of tight? Will they mm-hmm. need? Will they need a home court advantage seed, which is a top four seed? Yeah. Which is pretty. Oh. Um, it's very hard to say at this point. Cause they've had to, they've struggled a lot on the road this year, mm-hmm. like like a whole lot on the road. That's a lot of teams in the Western Conference, though. But, yeah, Five it is. Five and seventeen on Five the road. Five and seventeen on the road. Yeah. So they're struggling on the road. And but as, if y'all I don't know if y'all tuned into the Draymond podcast the other day, but you know he's put a lot of it on him. And I I was making this point the other day when I was talking to them off of camera that you know Draymond is now a postseason player. I don't think he too much like even when they first won their first couple championships. He had already started to acknowledge that, you know, the regular season is kind of boring for him. And mm-hmm. I believe at the just getting another championship last year, only anticipates that it's like, okay, now that we've been healthy because the last two years play wasn't here, but now that we got our boy back and stuff here and everybody's healthy, that, you know, if we get to the playoffs, it don't really matter. But y'all just, I just think that if you, you, you start building a culture of y'all losing a lot this year, that it might end up, you know, Costing y'all when the playoffs come, so I believe y'all should be just a tad bit worried if y'all don't get a high seed. Because mm-hmm. if you got to go to the altitude and play Denver three, four times in Denver and play a game seven in Denver, like we was just saying in the last segment, then yeah, you giving Jokic, yeah. you giving Jokic a chance to be the best player on the court for one game at home with the crowd, and I just wouldn't want that to be the case. So I'd be a little worried. They still my pick right now. I believe that once they all healthy and grooving, they'll get it together. And like I said before, they ain't lost the playoff series together since all three of them have been healthy and they start winning the championship. So if that's going to be the case, then I give it to them. They shouldn't be 100% worried, but I give it like on a scale from 1 to 100. I'm about 30% worried right now. 30? About 30% worried right now. Okay. I, if I had to put it on a scale from one to a hundred, one to a hundred, that's what I'll probably say. Honestly, I'm probably gonna say like twenty. I'd be like twenty percent worried because 
this team, I mean, like we see, we saw what they did in the postseason last year, and I mean, like you, I know you were saying, you know, Draymond, he's kind of been like a, a a postseason player, really, not really too focused on on the, on the regular season. I feel like once it come down to probably like the last ten to fifteen games, I mean, we're going we're going to see Draymond. He's going to show out. I'm not going to say he's going to show out. At least he's going. He gonna wow, start. He gonna start. To he gonna st yeah. He gonna start. Be like, he gonna start realizing. Okay, all right. We need to start getting in rhythm because now it's the time. It's time to worry about seeding and things of that nature. I think right now they're just getting themselves into position to to actually get a top four seed. But I don't think they're necessarily too much worried about it right now. It's more of just like, okay, we all need to get on get on a groove because they haven't really been on like a like a good groove for a, a, a stretch of games at any singular point in time this year. And then, you know, with Steph coming back in the rotation and things like that, just having to adjust to that, I think um, I think they'll be okay when it comes to the playoffs, though, because we already know, I mean, that's a whole different season in itself, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to the offs. And like I was saying, like I was making my point in last week's podcast, basketball podcast, you know, I feel like as long as they can make it in the playoffs, whether they on the road, at home, you know what I'm saying, the top four seed, bottom four, you know, bottom four seed, as long as they not like in a play in type position, I think they'll be okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think they'll be okay. So really, top six. You know, I think they'll be all right. So I'm not. I mean, it's a little worrying because when you think of the Warriors. With Steph, Clay, Draymond, you know what I'm saying, Poole, and you know all them guys over there. They usually you, got home court advantage. They exactly they usually do, but I can't. I don't think if they didn't have home court advantage, that it's gonna hinder them that much. So that's why I'm saying twenty percent. Okay, that's my take on it. All right. Yeah. I mean, seventeen five home. Re reverse, five, reverse five, yeah. I'm about to say reverse that, yeah. and that's that's their road record. They are looking, but you know. Crazy. They look like they need to be at home, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stay home. Please. We'll see. We'll see. But as I was saying the first episode about the, the Warriors, they, they are looking like they, they keeping everybody else shut down right now. But like as as you was just saying, um not Clay. Uh Draymond, Draymond. Is, is bored. He 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 not, he not putting no effort into it. But once he start bringing in that attitude, the whole team will exactly. start popping yeah, yeah, off. Exactly. You know, you know the shit going to switch up. We'll see. I, mean, we I got said, him in the finals, though. Exactly. Yeah, I we, got him. We were saying the same thing about LeBron a couple of years ago. About, you know, as long as, Le, as long as LeBron makes the playoffs, we know what he going to do in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Speaking of him, man. We know who he can right be. We're we going to get back. Yeah. Speaking of LeBron and the Lakers, did that should they go ahead and. I know. You ain't had to say it on camera, though. Should the Lakers. I'm just saying. <laughs> Shit, the Lakers trade LeBron to a contender I team. I shouldn't say it on camera either. <laughs> <laughs> they can't do smooth transitions you without, me without, 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 without acknowledging that. They got that pride you in them. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's like a bad meme. If you gotta just, if you gotta explain the meme, it's not a good meme. <laughs> Should the Lakers go ahead and trade LeBron to a contender? Because go ahead, since you want to make the transition, go ahead and start. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I don't See, I don't know time about Cole, you doing it again, Cole. <laughs> what? Okay, bro can't pop his neck. You okay. <laughs> he be popping the ball with some tits. Oh man, he sure do. He be lining that bitch up and clack. Oh, this clack. I just said, man. So. If you do that one day and just fall oh, over, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do, bro. Hey, and he right there by the live camera, so if the live no, camera just tilted over. Uh, just yeah. know it was, we gotta say it's gonna look like chaos. <laughs> gotta say it cold. <laughs> like chaos just ensued. God, right. God Almighty. Oh, this nigga just turned into Jim Ross. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, but um, you kind of look like Jim Ross now. I think about it. Cole, Jim Ross. <laughs> see, see, Cole see, looked that's like everybody. That's we be saying. <laughs> he a hippie Jim Ross. Yeah, he white with long hair. Just look like Cole. <laughs> AJ Styles, Aaron Rodgers. Who else we see it? I don't know. One game we was watching, it was a random motherfucker that was Gardner walking Mishu. by. Gardner yeah. Minshew. Yeah, that's another one. God damn. But anyway, back to my take about LeBron, LeBron being traded. Hmm? You did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. You came in, bit. Yeah, go ahead and do more. Laughing. 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 No, but um, 
LeBron. Back on LeBron. I think personally, I was telling Penny, you know, while we was off camera, when we was kind of discussing like the topic a little bit. But now I can get a little bit more in detail to it. I don't think they should trade LeBron. I think me personally, you get rid of AD because mm-hmm. he is fragile as a toothpick. You know what I'm saying? He hasn't really been there besides that that one year they went to, you know, they, the bubble year. The first time we met your AD, this nigga's disrespecting them. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even trying to be disrespectful. I'm hey, just saying. So when, AD, when AD documentary comes out and then it's going to have this clip from the podcast, when he bounced back, AD is soft as a toothpick. Yeah, he's he, no, I said I didn't say he was soft. I said he's fragile. He fragile as he works. I'm just saying, bro. I mean, because it's just the way this nigga be getting hurt, bro. I mean, it's just wrong, like, no. damn, you so injury prone. On a routine, on a routine layup, you hit a nigga on it with your ankle, and now you got an ankle sprain, and you've been out for like a month and a half already. Damn. Like, damn, bro. I just, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I would, I personally would want to get rid of him versus getting rid of LeBron because LeBron, I mean, he didn't, like this past week he didn't gave you like thirty seven six and five type shit. You know what I'm saying? You know LeBron can go out there and really drop forty forty five on a nigga head on any given night if he really just try. I mean, obviously it's not gonna come that as often as it used to. Yeah, pause. It's not gonna happen as often as it used to, like like how he was in probably like year fifteen, year twelve, mm-hmm. year ten type shit. But you know he can't do that. But it more frankly, huh? This nigga childish, bro. Can't work with this man, bro. You go ahead, bro. Because every time I go, you want to interrupt my monologue. You might as well go ahead. Can I talk? He was talking for a good little, little, little four minutes right there. I ain't gonna you lie got to it, you. G. Go. I'm just Stop saying. I'm, talk, just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, bro. I feel like the the answer would probably be getting rid of AD and trying to get some help, some better help around LeBron in these last like these last two years of his contract. And then who knows? He might fuck around and and, and, and sign another extension. Depending on the help you get him, mm-hmm. because look, right now, what are they like twelfth in the conference? I want to say they are thirteenth, thirteenth in the conference, and AD conference, sitting on the bench for a month and a half ain't helping. And even when he do come back, who's to say he not gonna be hooping for another twenty, thirty games and then get hurt again? They've only won one division game this season. Shout out to the division. Damn. So it's like, come on, man, like. That's that's how I, I mean that's where I feel about it. I don't think it's a LeBron thing. I think it's an AD thing when it comes to the Lakers and trying to get him off. Pause. Pause. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> 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 I just keep setting the bitches up. My fault. Uh, yeah. That's, funny. That's, that's my. That's how I feel about it. Well, I wouldn't say it's a a LeBron or AD problem. I just feel like you should trade LeBron because I just feel like y'all disrespecting him at this point. Um, Why you say that? Let me. You got some stats it's, for it's us? It's an NBA podcast right here. Okay. And, uh, I, I would assume if you're tuning in that you you, you like you like basketball. I and, hope so. And you watch basketball. All right. So I'm about to name off the starting lineup from last night for the Lakers, right? And please tell me how many of these And they lost to the Kings, by the way. Oh, the Kings are 30 to win, so. I, mean, I know that, but I'm just saying. <laughs> We're going to talk about Tim in a second. Uh, yeah. uh, LeBron was, he started. We all know LeBron. Okay. Right, so. Obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dennis Schroeder. Okay. I mean, you might know him if you know. You, 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 you really pay attention if you're really watching the games. But a casual fan, doubt they know Dennis Schroeder. Uh, Troy Brown Jr.? No idea who that is. I'm no, sorry. No, 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 no. Thomas Bryant. Know who that is? Oh yeah, y'all know who that is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we know who Tom is. Trash Bryant though. Is. Uh, damn, you gonna know, disrespect man <laughs> like that? Trash. Uh, damn. Pat, and then, and then, last but not least, his starting point guard is fucking Pat Bev. Like, what's wrong with Pat Bev? You don't like Pat Bev? You wanna know what's wrong with Pat Bev? What's wrong with Pat Bev? Let me know. Other than LeBron, their starting lineup, all four of them for the whole game combined for twenty points. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, that's bad. Horrible. Yeah. Yeah, you did say that before we started. So talking. like, <laughs> you only named off photo. I, LeBron was number five. You said Tom. You said Thomas Bryant, yeah. Dennis Schroeder, 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. I, for, I, forgot, I forgot you said Troy Brown. Or what? Mm-hmm. That's his name, Troy yeah, Brown? Troy Brown, mm-hmm. yeah. Brown Jr. <laughs> Troy Brown Jr. See, you forgot him that quick because we don't know who the fuck he is. So, so, yeah. And hey, I'm not man. even trying to disrespect y'all, bro. Y'all made to the league, so y'all obviously can hoop. But, obviously. <laughs> better than you. But, but obviously. Like, like, no. <laughs> if y'all, if That's not finna get y'all a championship. Y'all are doing LeBron dirty, bro. Like he put up thirty two last night, so it's like. And that's why I'm. That's why I was saying. He outscored the whole starting lineup himself. Like, why everybody else? Should. That's why I believe you should just go ahead and trade him to a contender because it's like even if you trade AD. The Lakers is trying to win rings though. They're not they're trying not, to get rid of they 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 pieces. No, you're not winning no rings no time soon. The, your best chance would be probably to. Your best chance would probably, you know what I'm saying, be able to get rid of AD to get some assets to help LeBron and not have Troy not Brown as your start. I don't think he's going to he get too much for AD if he, if he fragile his two-pick. You're going to get some draft picks? What the draft picks going to do for you? That is true. He only got two years. <laughs> two draft picks going to do I don't, do man. That's a tough situation. But, but I, so, I, so I get what you're saying, though. You know, I get what you're saying, though. Let LeBron go, go, go flourish somewhere else. So, where, so question. New Orleans. New Orleans, for what? Cause I know, I know, I know you, I know you a Zion fan. Get all them first round picks back that y'all traded them for AD. Yeah. <laughs> so you Indian giving basically? Hey, shit, we not really, cause y'all still got AD, but now y'all gotta give up LeBron and give us all our first round picks back. And y'all can have LeBron. So I mean, hey, I mean him and Zion might be one hell of a combo. So well, let's say five, let's say five draft picks. Cause yeah. that's that's you want to start off because Rudy Rudy well, like we talked about Rudy Gobert broke the market with that so you got to start off with at least five draft picks. Well, they got more than five. They can get them niggas eight. And that's what I'm saying. So, so you ain't giving up no players. I mean, you got to because you got messed up. You got. I'm about to say yeah. But you got they got a bunch of bench players that make enough money with like Devontae Graham and shit like that, Jackson Hay and shit like that. Where they can just go. So you keeping Bi, oh, yeah, you Zion, gonna, you gonna CJ? Keep, you gonna keep all four of them, all four. And like them three right there plus LeBron, that's gonna be the four. Yeah, you gonna keep them three because you gonna give up. You gonna give up Valachunas because you gotta give up his contract. Mm-hmm. You gonna give up Valachunas. You gonna give up like I said, Jackson Hay, Jackson Hayes, Devontae Graham, eight first round picks. <laughs> I mean, it's plausible. That is plausible, so, but we not GMs, so nah, we can't. It's ain't 2K. Yeah, and it's ain't 2K. Uh, the straight. The Rob Link, I, I do it. Hey, but while we're, we trying to figure out where the fuck LeBron should be going, our right, next topic is gonna be that walk that walk awards. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If y'all don't already know, same as football, they update their goddamn resumes every week. Every week, this is on a weekly basis. Weekly. Basis. Three to four games. Three, yeah, about to say three to four games. They be having a week. <laughs> this ain't no okay. All player, year. Yeah, player of the month. No, 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 you no. Should have no, tuned no, in no, to that no, episode no. where we predicted, and then we'll probably do an episode at the end of the season when the season's actually over. You feel me? Yeah. Playoffs is over. You feel me? But this week I'm gonna have to go with um Thursday to Wednesday. First off, I'm gonna start off with uh De'Aaron Fox. Okay. You know we just got done talking about the Kings and how they won last night. Mm-hmm. Over his last few games, he's averaged 25 and 5 with six assists. You know, you feel me? So, well, seven assists is 6.8, so it's going to hand round that up. Yeah, I'm about to say, you might as well, because I round the mine up. Yeah, you feel me? So, he dropped a good little 30 on them Lakers last night. And like I said, they got them boys right now, them, them Kings right now, third in the West. So, not only is he putting up stats, he's getting dubs too. Him and Sabonis have shown to be a great one two punch. So, he gets that first walk, that walk award. Shout out to that boy, De'Aaron Fox, D. Fox. The Kings are finally back. You know, like the beam, like the boys say out there in Sac Town. Second, I'm going to have to go with, you know, ATL boy, you know, Deion, uh, DeJounte Murray. I'm about to say, that is not his name. I almost fucked that all the way up. DeJounte Murray. Shout out to DeJounte Murray, man. You know, last night he had him with motherfucking 30 piece too. But over these last few games, he's averaged 28.3. 5.8, and then he had two steals a game. So it's like this week, big balling. You know, we could have gave it to. I, you know, me, I had to go a little different. I ain't want to go with the just, you know, the obvious big ballers, big, big, big ballers that ball that that, that do it every week. Cause it's like, you know, I give my niggas their flowers. So just not say Murray, y'all team is finally starting to play good. Y'all starting to get some dubs. So I'm at go ahead and get your flowers. Now my last one, I know I just said I ain't want to pick big superstars, but I'm at go one big superstars in the game right now. 
I don't know if you chose. You probably didn't. But I'm going to go with my boy John Morant, man. I uh, sure didn't. Yeah, I'm going to go with my boy John Morant. You know, he gave us the highlight of the week, two of the highlights of the week with that block and that posterizing dunk. So that that alone right there, big dog status, you feel me? That alone right there should deserve to get you a walk that walk. But he ain't just dunking on niggas, bro. They went 3-0, and number two in the West right now. So don't sleep on them Grizzlies. The young boys out there balling. But over his last few games, he's averaged 20, 28.5, you know, seven assists, you feel me? 1.5 still. So shout out to that boy, John Morant, you know. Got them boys out there gritty and out there in Memphis, you feel me? That's, you know, it used to be, you know, grinding. You know, they ain't grinding no more. They just dunking on niggas. They going nasty. Jesus, you boy. You feel me? Shout out to John really? Moran, you know? You know, you stole my little, my little hairstyle with the dregs. I had my little shit in the ponytail up there like that. First. No, right. you I didn't. Did. I did. It's okay. No, you didn't. He didn't even have, bro, I didn't have dreads. I had dreads way before he even started growing dreads, nigga. No, you yes, didn't. Did. Nigga was getting two French braids. You gotta think about, you gotta think about this, too. Because you like, what, y'all like four, five years younger than me, nigga? Like... I was in high school, and he was in middle school, when he ain't about to get no dreads, nigga. He couldn't even ask his parents for dreads yet when I got my dreads, You see, he couldn't ask his parents for dreads. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. It's okay. We inspired well, inspire to use, bro. It's okay. You funny as hell, bro. I swear to God. That was a, that was a good three, though. I'm glad, I'm glad we didn't pick the same three. Speaking of, my three. My first one, I feel like it's kind of obvious. Mm-hmm. It's my boy. Well, you think he's my boy. I might as well call him a boy now. I think this nigga from Denver. Jokic. <laughs> On me, right? You would think I'm from Denver. The way I be talking about Nikola Jokic. I mean, over the past week, he's dropped 28, 12, and 11. So he's averaging a triple double, triple double this past week. The last two games, he got one. I mean, he got 1.3 steals a game. He's shooting 73, 33, and 94 from the field. You know what I'm saying? Even though he only shoots... Two threes a game, and you still make it thirty three percent of them threes. So, you got him. You got to give him something for that. And I mean, I know he didn't play against the Clippers. What was that? I think that was Thursday. Against the Blippers. Yeah, last Thursday they still won though. So they four zero this week. You know what I'm saying? So three and no. And that's going. Against. That's going to be. That's also going to play into my, my personal criteria oh, yeah, as far yeah, as walk yeah. that walk. Gotta get some dubs. You can be balling, but if you ain't getting no dubs, get dubs. I don't give a damn. Sorry, but. You know, huh? Nah, we don't give it to losers, bro. Nah, nah, cause I mean, honestly, I would have given it to Dame. Dame dropped like forty something this yeah, this past yeah, week. Yeah, Dame went hard, but you know, I did it. Nah, I mean, there was two and two this week, so I couldn't. Exactly, so I couldn't give it to him. I couldn't. I couldn't do it, man. I couldn't do it. So that's my first one. Second one, I gotta give it to Jason Tatum. That's your boy. That's your boy. Duke product. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I know you fuck with Jason Tatum. So, I'm going to have to give it to Jason. He he dropping 34, 9, and 5 this week. Big bowling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to stop doing that. <laughs> yeah, you got to stop doing that one. That one right there, a little crucial. <laughs> yeah. Hey, shoot yeah. the fuck out of somebody. On me, he, oh, speaking of shooting the fuck out of something, he, been shoot, he, he, he dropping 47, 36, and he ain't missed a free throw all week. I hope I ain't jinx him, but he ain't missed the free throw all week. Definitely I definitely, I'm about to say, I definitely just jinxed him. My bad, Jason Tate. If you miss the free throw this next game, my bad, fool. But, First uh, free throw of the game. On me, boing. Nigga, <laughs> just go look at the camera like Bernie Mac. America. America. God damn. The, uh, I mean, they was 3-0 this week. Shout out to the Celtics. And, but they've been on a seven-game win streak, so... Them boys out there, them boys up there, I mean, I don't really fuck with the Celtics. You know, me being a Bucks fan, a Giannis fan, I don't really fuck with the Celtics. But got to give respect, respect is due, you feel me? And then last but not least, kind of an underrated player. You know, a casual fan might not know his name like that. But dude is an automatic bucket. I got to go with SGA, man. Shy Gildress Alexander. Shay. Shay, Shy. Whatever, however the fuck you want to say his name. Shay, Shy, whatever the fuck. Y'all know who the fuck I'm talking about. SGA, man, from the Oklahoma City Thunder. He just dropped. said the Oklahoma. I said Oklahoma. God damn. Am I not talking right right now? Do I need to reset? Do I need to hit the reset? But you. You. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, let's go. SGA, man. He's been dropping 75. I said, oh, I can't even talk. 
27, 6, and 5. Shit. Because I talk right. Do I need to reset again? Nah, don't reset again. I'm good. 27, 6, and 5. He's had 2.3 steals a game, and he got 1.3 blocks a game this week. And he's only had 1.5, one and a half turnovers. So, you know, he's taking care of the ball. He's doing what he needs to do to get his team to dub. Because, matter of fact, they undefeated this week, too. With, which with, is a surprise. Which is kind of is a surprise. And they, they got wins over the Sixers and the Nets. So, with two, team, two top teams in the East. So, Oklahoma City, they've been looking good this week. And it's really – Big parts of SGA, dog. He's been shooting 50, 30, and 89 from the field. And he dropped 37 on the, on the sixes in order to get that dub. And all these dubs really been close. So they've needed every bucket, every assist, every rebound they got from him in order to get them dubs, man. So I got to give it to, I got to give it to SGA on that. And that's going, that's going, that's going round mine out. Yeah. Can't hear shit you were saying. I couldn't hear shit you were saying. Shout out to the Grizzlies on their 11 win streak right there now. Um, piss poor on the goddamn Rockets on their 12 losing streak, but you know. You, you, man, you, look, bro. Young players, I, I expect yeah, you. man. Yeah, man. We ain't we, we, we ain't looking so hot this year. Nope. Again. Again. But thank y'all for tuning in to another great episode, another hot episode of Talk That Talk. This well, we talk boy. that talk and we walk that walk, you feel me? This is your boy, Penny Austin. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, share, follow us on all social media. All socials. Discord, Twitter, everything. Mm-hmm. Right there, you know? Yeah, don't forget to hit the Discord. And don't be like these hoes. This nigga got to throw that in there, huh? <laughs> he just had to throw that in there, huh? The only one, the last one. Yep. Serving that got packs on me My flex so smooth so casual Let that moolah it just ask me I'm chillin' smoking Halloween Why she count up that cash for me Induction to your Addy Money is the topic That's what they discussion about Stacks inside